When it comes to pushy stage mums, I have to tell you, I'm at a bit of a loss. Um, I'm talking about at the extreme end of the spectrum, and I don't know if you knew this, but whenever you say the word extreme, you have to do that. So I'm talking about the extreme end of the pushy stage mum spectrum. And um, beforehand I did a practice run, and whenever I was meant to say pushy, I said pussy. So I'm, just, <laughs> I'm having to really watch myself. So pushy stage mums is what I'm talking about. Because on the weekend I was reading an old magazine and um, a mother is grooming her daughter for superstardom. And it was just crazy, all the things she was saying. Um, she was saying, you know, she's just she's a superstar, she's going to be huge, she's, she's just so amazing, she's so talented. Anyway, this woman gives her 10-year-old daughter, what are they called, eyebrow tattoos at home and Botox injections, like this. So this 10-year-old girl goes to these auditions wrinkle-free. Can you imagine at 10? Mummy, can we go to the park? In fact, this is me with a facelift. And I have to say, I quite like it. Don't, don't comment on it, but it feels quite tight. Anyway, um, there's a girl in the UK, and I've talked about her previously, but her name is Destiny Superstar. And Destiny is spelt with two E's. Mm, not liking that, not liking that. The poor girl. When she's older, whenever she goes on a date, she's on a date... It's a date with destiny, and I just think that's really sad. Pushy stage mum? No. Nearly said pussy stage mum there, but I didn't. Did you see that? No, no. Anyway. But my personal favourite are the pushy stage mums who say things like, well, I can't stop her. You, you tried telling her she can't have her own TV show. She's just such a natural, you know, it's not my choice. She's just doing what she wants. And to be quite frank, that really shits me because... I just think it's wrong. It's it's the Suri Cruz school of parenting where, oh, she just does what she wants. She only wants to wear designer clothes. Actually, it's worked out quite well for Suri Cruz. But, you know, anyway. I mean, what 10-year-old wouldn't want to be famous? When I was 10, I, <laughs> I um, asked my mother if she would organise for me to go on a TV show called That's Incredible. Uh, and I said to her, Mum, can you put me, put me on That's Incredible because I'm so incredible. Uh, thankfully, Mum just went, oh, no, you're, you're an idiot right now, actually. But could you imagine if she had turned around and said, actually, you are right. In fact, you are so incredible, I am going to put you on That's Incredible. I just think that's wrong. And I think it's really sad to raise a child telling them every single day that you will be a star. You will be a star. I just, no. You will be a star, you will be a star. And then in 10 years' time, you will be a star, actually, bum. You're not a star. Uh, you're not going to be a star. That's pretty evident now. So we need a plan B. Plan B. Plan B. Oh, well, actually, plan B. It's pretty simple. Just tart them up, send them off to a nightclub where the footballers go, and they can be a wag. Ka-ching!